Over the past two trading sessions, the US dollar index has lost more than a 2%. The main driver behind this sell off has been growing fears of a recession in the United States, triggered by the latest labor market data. It's not just the unexpectedly weak numbers of new jobs that have sparked investors. Examine the indicator from January through June, we see that all readings except for March have been revised downward. If this trend continues, July's figure of 114,000 new jobs could also be revised lower next month. Thus, the US labor market report has resulted in two main findings. First, the US economy appears vulnerable to recession. And second, the Fed Reserve might be too late in cutting interest rates. In the meantime, let's take a look at how the upcoming economic report scheduled for August 7 and 9 could affect the dynamics of a major currency pairs. You how watching traders' calendar. Wednesday, we'll start with the trade balance reports from the world's second and third largest economies, China and Germany. Both countries have been running trade surpluses, meaning that they export more than they import. Last month, China's trade surplus was just over $99 billion, the highest level since July 2022. Data showed that exports widened at the fastest pace in 15 months. In July, however, the country's trade supplies in forecast to narrow Putin pressure on the Chinese yuan. The euro dollar pair will also come under pressure if Germany's trade balance figures meet expectations. The foreign trade balance of Europe's leading economy showed the supplies of $24.9 billion last month. This was due to smaller decline in exports than in iron imports. Exports fell by 3.6%, while imports dropped by 6.6%. Thus, the projected decline for June is in line with the previously established trend, suggesting a modest slide for the euro against the US dollar. On August 7, the US dollar may find some support from a Canadian PMI data, while June's PMI came in at 62.5, well above the market forecast of 53. The July figure is projected to drop to around 60. A decline in economic activity could wind on the Canadian dollar, which is one of the six currencies in the US dollar index. Thursday's macroeconomic calendar is bereft of any major news releases so that could have a severe impact on the market sentiment. However, data on initial jobless claims in the United States may carry some volatility. Although this report is of secondary importance, labor market data is currently under close security. Uh, scrutiny. It, it except the increase uh, the claims to 249 to 250 may be interrupted the, the, as a dollar signal potentially pushing the green back lower on the trading chart. Inflation reports from China, Germany, and other countries are due out on a Friday. China is currently experiencing deflation with the prices falling due to the lower production, sluggish consumer demand, and a weak labor market. Inflation was at just 0.3% in June, down from a 0.3% in the previous two months, while forecasts were for an uptick to 0.4%. If the July figures confirm this trend, the Chinese yuan could gain value along with the currencies that act as a liquid proxies for the yuan, such as the Australian and the New Zealand dollars. Germany's inflation figures for July are also anticipated to increase. The previous inflation rate was at 2.3%, and this time it's expected to rise to 2.3%, and this is very close to the European Central Bank's target of 2%. If uh, confirmed, that this slight acceleration in inflation could lead to a modest rise in the euro. The end of the week will bring an inflation report from Russia. The annual inflation rate is expected to rise from a 6 point, uh, from a 8.6% to 8.7. Last month's consumer prices increased across all sectors. Uh, and for July's uh, higher figures, I confirmed that the Russian ruble could gain value in anticipation of a potential rate hike by the central bank. I will going to be in the short term in financial markets. We will definitely tell you in our news releases. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.